First we are creating a new project, based on the Fluent UI template. The first thing is obviously to check or add the NuGet package Microsoft.FluentUI, at least version 4.2 or higher. We've also added the icon package for the rest of the demo. We're now ready to add a settings page. It will be opened from a settings icon that we put at the top right of the screen. We add the code that opens a panel with the title settings, which will be aligned to the right of the screen. Obviously, we need to inject the dialog box management service, as well as the provider to generate the HTML code corresponding to this location. To simplify the demo, I'm using the render mode server. My window opens on the right. I can now complete it by adding two drop-down lists. The first to choose the dark or light theme, and the second to choose the main color. I can customize these colors, but I can also select Microsoft Office colors such as Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. My dialog box opens correctly, but obviously no theme has yet been applied. I add the new Fluent Design Theme component with mode and color attributes. And now the theme is applied. But not yet memorized from one session to the next. The new component also offers this option by specifying the name of the local storage key to be used. These two data are simply serialized in JSON and stored in the browser's local storage. All that remains is to add this same component to retrieve the contents of the local storage and apply the theme when the page loads. And now everything's working. One last detail that might bother you, you'll notice a quick flash when loading in dark mode. This is due to the time it takes to download files and run the Blazor engine. We can eliminate this problem by adding this JavaScript file, which will be executed before Blazor and avoid this flash. And now everything is perfect. Of course, you can customize the main color or the way to save the theme in a location other than local storage.